Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I to in this tutorial, I'll be showing you a very easy way of how you can easily create a snoot effect in Photoshop. And if at all this is what you have always wanted to learn, simply hit the like button on this video because when you like the video, it also helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed at this channel. So you can say before and after before after so you can see usually most people have this not looking like this plain white but i'm going to be showing you i can easily add this nice and beautiful glow of a color to your snoot effect in photoshop and if i told you want the resources or the snoot effects i'm going to also be putting a link to download these effects in the description of this very video so without further ado let's get started so I'm just going to come right here and I'm just going to delete this. So the very first thing you have to do is first of all importing the image into Photoshop and the snoot effect. So make sure the snoot effect is also opened as a separate document is within Photoshop. So the photo you want to edit and also the snoot effect. So after importing both files into Photoshop, the very first thing you have to do is first of all selecting the subject. So there are different ways you can use to select the subject in Photoshop. One of them is using the old pen tool method and selecting around the subject. Then the other method is simply coming right here to these selection tools and come to select subject right here. Then if at all you don't have this select subject option, you can simply come, you can set we have one, two, three options right here. So left click on the one in the middle and simply click on the subject and that is going to select the subject so click everywhere that you feel like the subject is and simply select the subject so i'm just going to use the longer route if at all you don't have uh, this kind of tool for se automatic selection so i'm just going to zoom in by using ctrl plus and simply left clicking so you left click to add a selection so i'm just going to use a smaller tool so i'm using the bracket keys to make a selection command minus to zoom out so i'm just going to simply make a rough selection so to subtract a selection can simply select the subtract selection tool and just come and simply click to subtract a selection or you can simply hold down the option key or you can use the alternative tool you are using windows to subtract the selection so i'm just going to come back right here and simply add this selection by using the add selection icon so to subtract the selection option or you can use alternate and this can simply subtract a selection so i'll just come and add that selection add some little bit of the hair just like that so right now we have selected the subject so i'll just add that selection so after selecting the subject the very first thing you have to do is simply putting the subject on a brand new layer so you just want to copy the selection and paste the selection of the subject to a brand new layer so i'm just going to come and simply press you can use ctrl c for windows then command c to copy the selection then just come and press once again ctrl v or you can use command v to paste the subject or the selection on a brand new layer right there so after doing that just come and make sure you have selected the background layer in this case so the snoot effect is going to be created between the sub selection and the background layer so you select the subject or select the background layer right here and come to this snoot document right here and choose whichever document that you want so just come and select the rectangular marquee tool right here and you can choose whichever selection or effect that you want so for this case I can choose this effect right here so you left click and hold down and you select you draw or you move over the selection and when it is selected simply press ctrl c 
or you can use command C on the keyboard to copy the selection. Come back to your image document. Remember we selected the background layer. So you're just going to press Ctrl or you can use Command V on the keyboard. And that is going to paste the effect behind the subject. So after doing this, the next thing is going to be coming to the snoot layer right here and right click and simply come right and select convert to a smart object. So after converting the this to a smart object, you're just going to press Ctrl T or you can use Command T on the keyboard to transform this and hold down the Option key or you can use the alternate key to increase or decrease on the size by moving the corners right here. So I'm just going to leave it round there, that is fine. So after doing that, I'm just going to, you can either press enter on the keyboard or you can simply left click on this tick icon. So the effect has now been applied, but it is carrying around this black boundary that we imported with it. So you can see that it is also carrying this black background. So just want to eliminate the black background. So just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to screen. And that is going to eliminate the black background. So usually most people leave it at this step, but right now it is looking somehow a little bit sharp. So just come to filter blur and come to Gaussian blur right there. And you can change it to the radius of your preference. So I'm just going to leave it at around. Let's use around 13 and hit OK. So right now the effect is blurry. But now we just want to add some kind of color to this effect. So in order to add that color effect to the snow effect right there, just come right here. To the adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and after creating it simply click on this clip clipping mask icon right there so left click on it so the effect created is only going to be affecting the layer below it which is the snoot layer so just come and simply take the saturation all the way up and make sure you have take clicked on colorize to see the effect of the color. So just come and play around with the saturation just there. Then play around with the hue values to choose any color that you want. You can see we have these various colors. You can see all those amazing colors. You can see how you can easily colorize and create varying colors and make your images look better in Photoshop. So after doing this, so I'll just choose this color right there looks great for me. And after doing that, you can now stop at that point. And if at all you feel like you want to change this later on, or if at all the size is not desir desirable to your liking, click on the snow player and simply press Ctrl T or you can use Command T. And you can simply change on the size by holding down Option or you can use Alternate and you can change the size. And after that, hit enter or you can use that tick option. And this is how you can easily create a snoot effect. So you can see this is with, without the color. And this is with, with the color before, after, before, after. And this is how you can easily create a snoot effect in Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching us and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.